All right, my dear friends, let's talk about filter bypasses, shall we? So we've seen that a simple script alert can do a lot, but not in this instance, unfortunately, because it's going to get blocked. There is a small filter in place. Now, the thing is, it's only blocking that script tag. So uh, that means that anything with script in it is going to get blocked and alert as well. We should mention that also. That means that if I do this image source equals X on error equals alert, I will still not be able to pop my alert. I will need to make this into a confirm, for example. Voila, there we go. That's 11.php. Now the developers have gotten a bit smarter and they've also added our confirm in there. So even if we confirm it's not gonna work in this case we're gonna need to do something different now in this case we can use prompt for example there we go we've popped our cross-site scripting again in number 13 well in the previous examples we were able to do to bypass some of our filters by using uppercase letters in some instances that's not going to work because it's only showing us uppercase letters in that case. But in number 13.php, we're actually putting everything in a string to lowercase. So whatever I have in here, like it's John, I'm actually putting that to lowercase when I check it. So if it contains script, even though script is completely in capitals, it's not gonna bypass it anymore because of course it's gonna get filtered out gonna get turned to lowercase gonna see oh we have a script in there alert in there confirm in there then i'm gonna block it now this is a fun one because in here we are replacing every single greater than sign so as you can see all of my greater than signs are just literally gone but you guys know that you can URL encode and also HTML and use the HTML entity for the greater than sign, which would be NGT in this case. So if I want to, I can just use the less than sign image source equals X on error equals alert. And then use that and greater than sign to actually pop my alert. There we go. In lab number 15, we haven't replaced the greater than sign, but the less than sign in this case. So as you can see, it's completely removed. But again, we can do exactly the same thing and less than and then the semicolon. And then we can open up with the image tag. And as you can see, we can just again do source equals X for a broken image. And then on error equals alert to pop our alert. There we go. Beautiful. On to the next one. For this little beauty, we are going to need the double URL encoding. Now, what does that mean? As you can see, I've already URL encoded my image, uh, my text string once. Now, I've done that again. So it's going to encode those percentage signs as well. Now, what I have in here is it's going to pop my attack because the server is double URL decoding it. Why would it do that? It might do it in one location, do some operations on it, do it again, and then display it, and voila, we might have this vulnerability on our hands. And I can prove it to you as well. A normal attack factor will not work in this case. And in this beautiful lab, we are blocking any parentheses that we have in here. So if it does that, it's going to URL encoded. But again, we can use the AHTML entities to pop our alert. <laughs> 